Here's what the New York Daily News put on their front page. They quoted different Republican Party personalities sending their thoughts and prayers to the victims. And look, they highlighted the word prayers and mocked it. God isn't fixing this, they said. These Republicans were cowards who could, could end the gun scourge, the Daily News said. That's who they blame, not the shooters. President Obama jumped in, too. Here, take a listen. And we have a pattern now of, of mass shootings in this country that uh, has no parallel anywhere else in the world. And there's some steps we could take, not to eliminate every one of these mass shootings, uh, but uh, to improve the odds that uh, they don't happen as frequently. Uh, common sense, gun safety laws, uh, stronger background checks. It's an odd, uh, odd thing to say that mass shootings in the States have no international parallel. Just two weeks after Muslim terrorists shot hundreds of people in Paris, and it's even more bizarre to think that this is a gun safety issue, like maybe this military-style terrorist attack was someone who didn't have the trigger lock on or something. I think the strangest is the philosophy that it's a pass-another-law issue. Look, it's already illegal to murder people. In California, it's illegal to do many things with a gun. It's one of the most restricted states. Everything from what kind of guns you can have to how many bullets in the magazine to how long you have to wait to get a gun. It's already illegal. That's the thing about terrorists and ordinary criminals, too. They have decided in advance to break the law. If you are fine with murder, you are probably fine breaking some paperwork re requirement or some background check. 